Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of file organization using File Explorer in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I wanted to do is open up File Explorer. I already have it open. I just clicked on the folder icon right down here to open it up. If you want to open it up and it's not down here on the taskbar for you, then you might have to press the Windows key and type in File Explorer and you'll see it appear right there. At that time you can right click and pin it to the taskbar if you choose. Alright, so I've opened up File Explorer right here. You may notice that up here looks a little bit different from what you're viewing on your computer. That is because I clicked this little icon right up here and this icon shows me exactly uh, what is on what's called my ribbon. And so if I click that, it'll open up my ribbon and collapse my ribbon. I do like to keep this open because I like these options right up here. All right, so beyond that, this is called the ribbon up here. It's broken down into tabs, home tab, share tab, and view tab, as well as file tab. And then from there, it's broken into groups like clipboard, organize, new, open, and select. All these buttons will help you uh, do different things inside of File Explorer. And so let's take a look at what I am looking at here. Um, along this uh, bar right here, this is an address bar or a navigation bar, it tells you exactly where I've navigated to so far in File Explorer. So I can see I'm in this PC, which you all should have on your Windows 10 PC. That shows you all of your uh, basic folders that you should find in yours, like desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos. And this everything saved in here saves to your C drive, which is your hard drive. And then moving on, I clicked on documents and then I went and created a folder called FM for file management and then a folder called case one. Inside of this case one folder, I put a bunch of different documents to show you uh, exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial. So again, this left side here is called the navigation pane. At any time you can move along uh, and click different things in this navigation pane to move to the quick access items. Or you could take a look at your uh, file pathway right up here to see where you're currently at. So right now I'm going to basically inside of uh, File Explorer create new folders. So the first way that I'm going to create new folders is I'm going to go up here to Home. I'm going to go to the New tab and I'm going to click on New Folder. So I click New Folder right there and I'm going to call this one Classes and press Enter. All right, so that's one way to create a folder. Another way to create a folder is to go anywhere in this blank white space down here, right click and go to new and then choose folder. And I do that and then I type in design and press enter. A third way to uh, open up a new folder is by going up to the very top left of your page, you will find an icon right here and that is the new folder icon. And it's actually this one right here. So I click it and then I can type in marketing. All right, so I've created three new folders. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, moving these uh, different files to the, these folders. So if I wanted to move the advanced classes, beginner classes, intermediate classes, and kids classes uh, into the classes folder, well, I could do them one at a time. And one of the ways that I would do that is I could go to beginners classes and I could click and drag this to move it right up into classes. All right, and I could do that right there and it moves on in. All right, now I could also take this one right here, advanced classes, and I can move this one on in. All right, and so that moves that one on in. And now I still have intermediate and kids classes. Now I wanna show you one other way to move multiple folders. And so if I wanted to move both of these at the same time, first I would click on intermediate classes, then hold down control and click on kids classes. Know that they're both highlighted in blue now and then I click them and drag them, and it says two right there, up to classes, and then I release. That moves all four of the files that I wanted to into the classes folder. All right, so let's say that I wanted to uh, rename the four files in the classes folder by deleting the word classes from each name. Well, in order to view those files, I now have to go into the classes folder. To go into that folder, I double click on it. So that's two fast clicks on the word classes. So one, two, and now I'm in that folder. Now to rename my files in here, all I have to do is right click on them, on them and go right down here to rename. So advanced classes, I'm just going to call it advanced now. What I did was I highlighted the word classes, pressed delete a few times, and then pressed enter. All right. Uh, next one is beginner right here. Now this time I'm going to rename it a different way. I clicked on beginner and now I go to the home tab, organize group, 
rename. Once I do that, it's now all highlighted. Since I don't want to get rid of the word beginner, I'm just going to click and drag over the word classes as well as the space. I press backspace or delete and I press enter. Now I do the same process with, uh, actually I'll show you another way to rename. If I click on intermediate classes and then I wait a few seconds and then I click back on intermediate classes, notice that it all highlights again. Then I know that I'm ready to rename. So I rename that one to intermediate. Then finally, I rename the last one to kids and I remove the word classes. All right, so there we go. I've now renamed all four of those. Now, if I wanted to go back to that case one folder where I originally saw everything that I was working on, I could either click the back button right here or I could click right on the folder inside of the uh, name path here. So I could click right there on case one and now I'm back to where we were. And now what I'm going to do is move the four JPEG files from the case one folder into the designs folder. So I see that I have one, two, three, four of these. Notice that they are all in order. Since they're all in order, I can move all four at once. So instead of clicking on one and then holding control and clicking on each of them individually, since they're in order, I could click on the first one, hold down shift, and then click on the last one. And that'll help me select all four just in two simple clicks. So again, control does things like select individual ones, even if they're not in a row. And shift, you can click on the first one, then click on the last one um, after holding shift. So I have all four of these now selected. Now I'm gonna move these to the design folder. So I click and drag. I see that it says a four right there. I move it right over design and it says move to design and then I click OK or I just un unclick rather and so there we go. So that moved it to the designs folder and now what I'm going to do is copy the two remaining folders to the marketing folder. So if I wanted to copy uh, these two and I'm sorry I said folders but I meant files. If I wanted to copy these two files into the marketing folder what I'm going to do is first I'm going to highlight both of them. Then I'm going to right click and go to copy. And once they're copied, I right click on marketing and I go to paste. And now if I double click in marketing, notice that the two files are in there. Now keep in mind, copy makes a copy of them. So the original two will remain right there in that, um, in the original case one folder. All right, so now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take a look at um, the designers file, which is right here. So this designers file, I'm going to um, take this one and I already copied it into marketing. Now I'm gonna copy it into the design folder. So if I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna copy this by right clicking, go to copy, and I'll paste it right here into the design folder again by right clicking and going right there. All right, there we go. So let's say that we get to this point, everything's looking good, but then we decide we do not want to uh, have something here anymore. Well, we could delete uh, the designers and studio files from this folder. So right here, I have designers and studio. Well, if I go right here and I write, or and I uh, click on the first one, and then I hold down shift and click on the second one, I could delete them. I usually do that by right clicking and go to delete. Since I've made copies of those files already, I don't need another copy in here. So that's how you delete your files from File Explorer. All right, so lastly, we're going to copy the advanced file from the classes folder. So again, inside the classes folder here to uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, from the classes folder to the Beecher Designs folder. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take this and I see advanced is right here. I right click and I go to copy. Now if I want to navigate back to case one, I can hit back right there. And let's say I want to put it into this design folder and I can right click and go to paste. All right, and so I put that right in there. And now it's in this design folder. But let's say this design folder is supposed to be called Beecher Designs. Well, if I need to rename it, Again, I could just click and then click a little bit later, or I can right click and go to rename, or I can even click on it and then go to the home tab, rename. And again, it renames the same way that we did it with the file. So right there, Beecher Designs, and there we go. 
All right, so that is a quick tutorial on how to organize and set up your files inside of File Explorer. Hopefully it helps you take a look at how to create files, create folders, um, and organize them as well as rename and move them. So if this video helped you out, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.